pop stories in and around Owlsbury on Owlsbury News. Owlsbury Link Road plans on display. Changes to the Owlsbury South Eastern Link Road plans could be seen yesterday in Stoke Mandeville. The plans have been amended following a public consultation last November where more than 200 people responded. The council have now modified the plans looking at landscaping, noise concerns, vibration and air quality. Mark Shaw, Buckinghamshire's County Councillor's Deputy Leader and Transport Cabinet Member said the link road was needed to take traffic from the new bypass being provided through the HS2 Hybrid Act to Wendover Road to avoid congestion at Walton Gyratory. Currently, traffic users Risborough Road and Station Road, Stoke Mandeville. Mark said the Link Road is a major investment in Owlsbury's roads. As the town grows, it will help deal with the congestion and improve connections around the outskirts. It also provides a greater opportunity to build another section of our orbital route around Owlsbury. The Link Road, at just under a mile long, has a budget of £23 million largely from the local government fund grant, though Buckinghamshire Thames Valley Local Enterprise Partnership with contributions from HS2 and local developers. A planning application will be made in September and will include a 30-day public consultation. The aim is to start construction in the winter of 2020 and finish a year later to coincide with the projected completion of Stoke Mandeville Bypass. The plans were on display at Stoke Mandeville Stadium Government Centre yesterday from 2 to 8 p.m. NHS warns of a rise in blood-sucking insect and horsefly bites. Here's what you should do if bitten. Brits may have been basking in the tropic sunshine over the past few weeks, but the downside to the balmy weather is that painful bites by blood-sucking insects have soared. Calls to the NHS helpline 111 about bites from insects are nearly double the average for this time of year, and senior doctors are reporting incidences of patients being treated in hospital for insect horsefly bite. Despite the warm weather, experts say standing water such as garden paddling pools are where insects thrive should be removed. Dr Nick Scriven, president of the Society for Acute Medicine said we wouldn't normally see anyone come into the hospital for a bite but we have seen a few recently needing treatment with antibiotic which is very unusual. A couple of these were infected by from horse flies. They actually give one of the nastier bites because they take a chunk out of you. They can be very painful and can take a while to heal and as a result can get infected and need antibiotics. In the worst case scenario they can cause cellulitis and an, an infection of the skin. Blister pain, horsefly bites can result in horrible painful blisters. A bite from a horsefly can be very painful and the bitten area of skin will usually be red and raised. NHS Choices says horsefly bites can take a while to heal and can become infected. See your GP if you have symptoms of an infection such as pus or increasing pain, redness and swelling. According to the NHS, symptoms of horsefly bites include a large red raised rash, dizziness, weakness and wheezing. A part of the body may also become puffy and swollen. In rare occasions, an allergic reaction of the fly can prove fatal and in 2013, a father of four died suddenly after being bitten by the fly. If you're bitten by a horsefly, keep the wound clean and apply ice to minimise the itching. 
thank you for watching please subscribe and leave comments below oh don't forget to share and like our videos thank you